Hello, welcome to my workshop. My name is Chris Pine. It is Christmas week and as many of you out there, YouTubers, have been making videos of very easy and quick projects you can make as Christmas gifts, I thought maybe I'd throw my hat in the ring a little bit with something that I'm doing this week. I have the week off of Christmas so I've been blessed with that and I'm taking some time in the shop finally. It seems like forever since I've been in the shop uh, of any consequence in a long time. So. I am going to make some small cutting boards similar to this one, but I have all different shapes and sizes here. Mostly smaller ones, side grain ones are quick, easy, and they are loved by those who receive them at Christmas. So let's go ahead and get started. My shop is a cluttered mess, but I have this lumber that I want to use for these cutting boards. This is rough cut maple. Here's some cherry that has some heartwood in it. Uh, the back side is mostly heartwood actually, but I love how that looks. I actually like cherry that way and and I also have this piece of walnut that will do nicely. And what I'm going to do is just use my patterns which I have over here. And I actually got this inspiration last year from Carl Jacobson. And there's one of them. Here's another and I just made these out of some MDF, quarter inch MDF that I had left over. And uh, very simple patterns. Uh, some are fun, that's kind of like a, a round one with a handle. And they'll all look great hanging on the wall, but they'll also serve as a cheese board or a cutting board very nicely as well. I have my patterns here, and uh, I heard of a person that actually made these templates out of plexiglass so you could see through them. I think that's kind of a neat idea, but you can generally kind of place these on the board and get the grain that you want to show on the board once the rest is cut away. And uh, I kind of like seeing the, the grain of the wood here rather than do it where it just drops off the edge. I'd kind of like to have that included, so I think I'm going to go with it that way. And of course on here... Uh, different ways and then for my I call this the French red one uh, I like to cut it uh, similar to that so uh, I like the green I don't know some people would like it to go like this I like the green when you're holding it to be going like this so I am going to go with it on the piece like this very simply you line it up and trace around your template On this you could use a jigsaw. This is a simple enough pattern to cut out. You could use the jigsaw. I have the bandsaw so I'm going to go ahead and use that. these patterns here which are wider than the boards. Now I have several choices. I could simply cut off a piece on one end, move it down to the other, and put it under under the uh, under here and make a full board out of that. Or I could play around here a little bit and mix up the different woods and maybe make, I'm thinking about two inch wide strips and we'll glue them together in different configurations. And I really enjoy doing that. It's a lot of fun to glue up and to come up with boards that way. So I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll see what I come up okay, with. Okay, so I've cut the pieces and now you get kind of the idea of what I want to do to make the most use of my wood here. I will glue this up 
and we're going to do another one for this pattern as well and we'll keep going to get as many as we can out of these remaining pieces of wood. Okay, we've come to the moment of truth. I got a bunch of cutting boards and a lot of oiling to do. What I like to do is use mineral oil to do the first couple coats, let it really get into the woods well, and then I use what's known as wood butter, which is basically a mixture of mineral oil and beeswax. And uh, I've had this jar, I've had it for over a year now, and I like to put a coat of this on, maybe a couple coats after I soak it with the oil. Uh, just to keep it protected and then you use the um, the wax whenever needed to refresh the finish on your boards. This one is cherry and this one is <coughs> maple and as you can see walnut combination. So let's get to it. This is my favorite part. I love this cherry, it really is pretty when you put the oil on it. This really, really livens that, livens the look up of it. Really, really pretty. So I got a lot of oiling and waxing to do, and we'll be back here and finish up the project. It's just a lot of fun making these simple, simple projects that people so much appreciate. I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great New Year. And it's been a pleasure putting out videos this year, even though I kind of tapered off here towards the end of the year. It is my hope to do more of that this next year. God bless. I hope everybody has a great holiday season with your families.